Greetings from Tokyo, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And today, if you don't mind, I would very much like to continue on with the viewer questions that you very kindly sent to me a couple months back, or a few months back, I should say. I really have to apologize so sincerely for my slow, slow pace when it comes to addressing these great questions, and they are all absolutely stellar. So thank you very much for uh, being such great film enthusiasts and for always showing me uh, great examples of your film enthusiasm. It really is fantastic. Thank you so much for this. I learn so much from you every day. And so in that spirit, let us now go to the next of these questions, which is from AJO400. So hello, and thank you very much for the great question, which is, what is your favorite epic wide shot? Great question. And when you say epic wide shot, I interpret this to mean some kind of use of the cinema medium, the technical facets of cinema making or filmmaking, the use of the camera, lens, uh, distance, scope, uh, the characters on display, the environment, the landscape, the lighting in order to somehow project or represent some kind of space or distance that is representative of something quite grand in nature and scope and quality. And this is oftentimes or perhaps essentially compounded by or going in parallel to or in combination with some kind of moment that this particular, say, shot either represents or uh, is in parallel with. So the visual is linked with, say, the emotional or psychological component of this particular scene or particular moment. And so that combines to create this huge spectacle feeling, maybe heightened drama or heightened emotion, thus creating the sense of what can be deemed to be the epic wide shot. So that's how I will interpret the question, the great question that you sent, my dear friend. What is your epic or what is your favorite epic wide shot, excuse me. So, as one can imagine, I think there can be so many examples that one can use. Certainly, I can probably think of uh, a lot, uh, and maybe too many. Uh, but if I were to fix my attention on, say, one example, of what I might consider, based on my own, say, subjective cinema journey, what I might consider for me to be my favorite epic wide shot in cinema, I could probably, with confidence, turn to the example that was provided in that great, great, oh-so-great film, which is from uh, the filmmaker Akira Kurosawa, Kurosawa Akira. And this is from 1985, and the name of the film is Ran, Ran, R-A-N. And this is oftentimes described as being the word in Japanese, which is, uh, uh, which means chaos, Ran, or chaos. And the shot that I am thinking of, and I don't want to give too much away for anyone who has yet to see this, magnificent work of art, which is Kurosawa's Ran, but to be as, say, general as possible in my description. The shot that I'm referring to, or I'm thinking of in my mind, is epic wide shot. There are so many in this film, but there is a, a sublime, supremely powerful moment that comes around the middle of the film, where some very dramatic events have occurred in terms of an attack on a particular... Japanese castle station that is very much a strategic point and, and it figures in in many ways in terms of the plot of the film or not. So anyway, we have this battle that has taken place or 
uh, in and around the vicinity of this particular Japanese castle point. And thus we have the burning castle, which is engulfed in flames and smoke. And it is standing there in this desolate landscape of dirt and wind and the bleakness of the sky in the background. And we have this burning castle with the troops surrounding. And then from the center, because the, there is a hole in the castle in the center, which is the, the entrance and exit uh, to enter and to leave the castle interior. And from this, we have in the midst of all the flames and smoke and wind and all the drama that has occurred, all the heightened drama and all the, the shifts in the destinies of all the characters involved that collide at this particular moment in the film. We have at the centerpiece this burning castle engulfed in flames and smoke. And lo and behold, who emerges from the depths of this burning castle? but our main character, or one of the main characters, one of the main protagonists, or perhaps antagonist, depending on how one views the story, but one of our main characters who is Hidetora. And Hidetora is the character who is portrayed by the great and legendary Japanese actor, Katsuya Nakadai. And we see him emerge from the smoke, the hellish smoke interior, and he emerges to the barren landscape of the exterior. And we see him and his face and the music, the ominous sounds of the music begin to hint as to what kind of madness is to follow. But we see him descending slowly, descending downward, right? descending physically and also emotionally in terms of a type of journey into madness, which this is, of course, the great signifier of. And here we have him, again, emerging from the burning castle and all the troops are surrounding him and this particular place. It is a supremely epic moment because of course we have the, the physical situations of the actual filming of this, which is extraordinary in terms of the epic nature of what was being built in terms of the production values and then what was being destroyed for the sake of this filmed art by this artist Kurosawa and all the the details were timed so perfectly and then we have the great performance of Nagadai really truly the heart and soul the center of this and we have this being such a supremely emotional moment because it represents a huge turning point in the trajectory and journey and character arc of, again, one of the main characters, who is Hidetora. This is such a great moment for so many reasons. It is epic in scope and uh, physicality, as well as in terms of the human heart and all of the tragedy and horror that has happened and perhaps uh, a very portentous moment in terms of what is to come. And as I say, there is much to emerge from this moment on throughout the rest of the film. And so this is therefore a huge, huge moment, an epic moment, that's for sure. And we have this epic wide shot of, uh, of Hidetora emerging from the burning castle. So this is perhaps uh, maybe one of my favorite epic wide shots if I were to use that as my example to answer your great question. And so thank you very much for that. That was wonderful, wonderful. And may I, I ask you and for anyone else who's interested, what would be your way? How would you respond to this great question from AJO400? Once again, the question is, what is your favorite epic wide shot. Okay, my friends, so thank you very much. And I hope that you continue to be well and safe and secure. As always, that is the most important thing. And once you've taken care of that, my friends, please continue to watch a lot of great, great movies. And so thank you very much for your time. I very much appreciate it. Stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Thank you.